scope of coverage you won't find anywhere else. This is Weather Scope This Morning. And it is Super Bowl Sunday for many. That means, uh, of course, sitting by the TV by this evening, a 620 mm -hmm. game. For others, it's probably going to mean getting the snow blowers out again. I know, that's right. More snow piling up across parts of the Midwest. And it was over the last couple of days that we had over a foot of mm -hmm. snow in Des Moines, Iowa, and the southeastern parts of Minnesota. We'll have more on that in a minute. First of all, though, let's check you into New York City because the other byproduct, if you will, of the storm system brought the rains into the New New York City area yesterday. Not only was it wet, but it was wet and windy. Winds were clocked at some 50 miles an hour at times, so it made it more difficult to hold on to the umbrellas. You know, in these type of conditions, you need those heavy-duty golf umbrellas to keep you dry and to withstand the winds. The good news is that that system is out of here. It's well north of the border, the area of low pressure anyway. It's trailing cold front. You can see it, the clouds associated with it already out here in the Atlantic. Here's what's left of the heavier rains that we had that moved through Maine yesterday. But with the northwest wind flow so far this morning, we have more precipitation developing in western New York and northwest Pennsylvania. And this has been in the form of snow so far with the colder air. You know, the winds blowing over the lakes picking up some moisture now from Lakes Erie and Ontario, and then depositing that moisture in the form of snow. Lake-enhanced showers here. And uh, this will continue throughout much of the day. So if you live closer to the lakes, of course, you'll find the brunt of the narrow bands of persistent snows, but a little farther away, and you'll see that the snow showers become more sparse. It has been fairly windy, though, across much of northern New England, as those northwest winds have been in excess of some 30 miles miles an hour throughout most of the morning hours, and that has made for brutal wind chills over parts of the Northeast. The air is already cold enough. Boston, it's 32 degrees, literally freezing in Beantown this hour, 34 in New York, 35 in Philly, and 36 in our nation's capital. You factor in those northwest winds, though, and you get an entirely different answer to the equation. It feels like two in Boston, five in New York, so single digits just about everywhere. But in some areas, we have sub-zero readings, like in the Capital District, Albany, 18 degrees below zero. So you want to cover your hands, put on your hats, your scarves, your overcoats. Dress in layers. That'll keep you warmer than just one big coat. Certainly, you'll have to withstand those northwest winds over much of New England. So uh, please do that. It'll be sunny, but don't let the sunshine fool you. Temperatures over the southeast. Now, we're warming up hour by hour here. As the sun's coming out in northern Georgia, around Atlanta, it's already 41 degrees. The same in Birmingham, 49 in Panama City, 52 already in New Orleans, and we're well on our way to low 60s by the afternoon. 40 degrees in Little Rock, so it looks very, very nice as high pressure builds in. You know, with rising pressures, you get sinking air, and when you get the air to sink, you don't get many clouds to form. And with that in mind, we have uh, dry conditions today. Not like we saw over the weekend, you know, late Friday night, we had the uh, frontal boundary to move through parts of the southeast. We had some locally heavy rains, and so far this month, we've had quite a surplus. Atlanta, we've had over six inches. Now, normally this time of year, you should have just a little bit less than four inches. And much of the same Birmingham, you're about four inches above the norm. And the same for you, Jackson, Mississippi, about three inches above the norm. But no rain expected today. Jackson, Birmingham, Atlanta, a lot of sunshine in Atlanta with 52 degrees. And again, sunny in New Orleans with 61. We do have some high-level cirrus clouds building over northern Alabama and northern Mississippi. But these are not the rain-making clouds, and they should not abate the sunshine all that much. Now, clouds are a little bit thicker here in the mid and lower level levels of the atmosphere, and we've had a little bit of snow now redeveloping over uh, parts of Minnesota. As a matter of fact, the snow has been fairly persistent from around Minneapolis to St. Cloud and back into North and South Dakota. And again, it is in this area that we've had the heaviest snows over the last couple of days, eastern and central Iowa through the central parts of Wisconsin and even southeastern Minnesota. As a matter of fact, we had reports of uh, drifts up to about 15 feet in southeastern Minnesota, so blizzard-like conditions certainly made for hazardous traveling conditions. Well, 
Actually, if you could even get the car out of the driveway. But I'll tell you what, more snow is expected today in parts of southeastern Minnesota. And that will just uh, bring us some more problems with the uh, snow-covered roadways and really hazardous conditions. Here's a look at the snowfall forecast now. Across parts of the Midwest, as we do have the uh, chance for three to six inches of snow southeast in Minnesota, and just to the north of that, a band of six to 12 inches are possible. And there you see the snows for the mountains out west all the way to the coast, the Olympic Peninsula. Now, we've had snows around Portland, Oregon, and uh, more snow is expected throughout the area. As a matter of fact, we do have snows right now around the Puget Sound, Washington, and 